Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, hopefully, is going to be a short video. Today's video, somebody asked if I would do a video on my skincare routine. And I have to tell you that I'm going to do it, but I don't think I have a very good skincare routine. I actually um, haven't really done anything. I do stuff now, but I would recommend that you watch either Angie on Hot and Flashy. She knows lots about skincare. She knows what to look for in your products and what they do and what the bad products are and I don't know that. I actually took my skincare routine from stuff she told me. So she's good and also Uppy Beads 59. That's her channel. Her name is Tammy. She knows tons about skincare too but she uses a little more expensive products i think than um angie does but either one of those um they both really know what they're talking about i'm going to tell you what i use the reason i use it is because i like the way it smells because and because she used it or recommended it so i figure it must have all the good things in it that you want in it because she uses it and she knows her dad is a chemist so she can ask him anything she doesn't know and find out so anyways my skincare routine for the morning is I take a shower and then I wash my face with um, yes to coconut hydrating ultra hydrating cream cleanser I use this to wash my face with because in the shower, I don't really wash my face. Um, I just take a shower, wash my hair, do whatever, and then I get out. And my very, 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 very favorite thing is this. It's a wonder cloth. I don't have the box anymore, but I did show it in another video because I saved the box so I could show it in another video. And I did. And then I, so then after that, I threw it away, I think. Anyways, this is called a wonder cloth and it is a wonder cloth because you it's it's exfoliating when you get it it's super super soft it looks like fur but when you use it it actually you can feel how rough it gets it's not rough it's soft but it's like a wash rag but then you wash off all your makeup with it and it's covered with makeup you just hold it under the water and it rinses right out it's so awesome I have three of them now and none of them are clean so I need to do laundry Anyways, this is what it looks like. This one's wet because I used it this morning. So first I wash my face with the Yes2 um, coconut. And it's because I like the smell of coconut. And then I use this Thayer's Witch Hazel. Um, it's aloe vera form, Witch Hazel aloe vera formula. It's alcohol free toner cucumber is what I use. I think it does have different flavors but I'm not sure but that's what she used so that's what actually she didn't use the one with aloe vera in it but I didn't notice that I just noticed the difference in the bottles and so I got this one but since then I think I've seen her using this bottle with aloe vera in it anyways I love this because it's alcohol free I put it on my eyes I put it everywhere and I use this actually night and day um, and we're on morning right so in the morning after I use this while it's still kind of wet, then I go in with this um, Timeless 20% C plus E plus, uh, if only I could see this, plus Ferulic Acid Serum. And I put this on first and I just put a little I just it's got a dropper in there I just put a little on my finger and I go like this it absorbs really fast so I put it on this side and then I put more on my finger and I put it on this side then I do my forehead and then I do my neck with it and it, it absorbs really fast and so then after that I go in with this this is Olay <laughs> Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Serum this is what I use after the um, vitamin E serum, vitamin C serum, not E, C. And I put this on in the morning after that. And then that's it. See, I don't even use a moisturizer. 
I thought this was a moisturizer, but it's not. It's a serum. Anyways, that's what I do in the morning. And then at night, and then I put my makeup on after this. Put on a primer. I mean, I let this, after this goes on, then I usually eat or something. And then put my makeup on. So I let that serum, it was all soaked in by the time I put on my makeup. And then for nighttime, I take off my makeup with, well, first I go in, and you know how I take off my eyelashes. I use this to take off my eyelashes. And somebody said that the way I do it, the way I roll it to keep from hurting my eyelashes is really stretching this skin down here. And they're right, it is. So what you can do is do the same thing I did, only instead of doing that, you can just kind of push with your thumbnail or, or, but just don't pull until it releases. You just want to roll it between your fingers to pull it off so that you don't have to push that skin down there. And, but this is the best one to take off lashes with. It's, it's, just a bomb. And then after you get the lashes off and put them away, then you put this stuff on a pad, on a little round cotton pad, and you take off the rest of your makeup. And then I wash my face with this, or I use this ultra hydrating melting cleanser. And it's yes to coconut also, but it's not the same one. This one is like a gel. And this one is a cream. And so I use this, I just put water on my face, and I squirt some of this. It's kind of hard to come out sometimes, but it, you squirt some of this in your hand and squish it together and then put it all over your face and neck and wherever you put makeup and um, just rub it in and then take this and put warm water on it and just wipe it all off and rinse it out. And then I always wipe it a second time to make sure because a lot of times on my neck and stuff I didn't get it all off. And then I rinse it again, and then I go back in and I wash a second time at night because the first time I'm just getting the makeup off. The second time I go in with the cream and a wash, do the same thing, and then rinse it, or wipe it all off with this, and then rinse it once and wipe it again. Then I go in with my, this toner and make sure there's nothing left on it, and... I just use a cotton pad. I just put that on a cotton pad and, and then I go in with my Differin. This is my Retin-A, Retinoid, Retinol. My Differin gel. And I just take a little dot and I put it right here and then I spread that all down. And then I take a little dot and I put it right here and I spread that all down. And I kind of put a little on my chin and a little on my upper lip because I have wrinkles on my upper lip. And then I take another dot and I put it right here because I have huge wrinkles right here. And I put it right there and then I spread it out from there because it also absorbs really fast. That's why you just take a little dot and do the dot before you go in with more. And then I was using it on my neck, but I got this rash thing going on. So it's almost gone now, but I stopped using it on my neck because... I didn't know, I'm not really sure what was doing it, but this seemed like they had to be the culprit. And then after I put the different on, I just put on this other Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting, Sculpting Cream Moisturizer. The one in the jar, I put this all over my face and neck at night after I put this one on. And I think that's it. Yep, that's my whole skincare routine. Not much there, but that's what I do if you wanted to know. Anyways, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.